To our top story tonight at 6, some people are firing up the grill on this Labor Day while others are lacing up their running shoes. The 46th annual Macon Labor Day Road Race happened at Carolyn Creighton Park this morning. And as 41 NBC's Dejon Campbell reports, this race is about more than just crossing the finish line. Get set! And they're off. Runners, walkers, different ages, different speeds, all gathered for the annual Macon Road Race, a staple in the Macon community. It's been around for quite some time. I've personally been a part of it about 33 years, but this has been uh, around for 46 years, so we've had the race for 46 years. It's quite a community institution now. A community institution rooted in fun, but also in paying homage to family members. My grandmother, uh, she walked the 5K when she was living, and my uncle used to run it, and so every year I just come out and do it in their honor. A family with a father and son. They've ran in the race since 2017. He shares just how important family involvement has been over the years. That really brings it all together. It's something we can all get up for, come out, have a good day, then go get something to eat afterwards. The race aims to bring everyone together, not just runners and walkers, but families of multi-generational representation. It's something for all the family, and so we have families that they've got three generations that are here running. Uh, I don't think we've had a fourth generation yet, but we could, and um, it's just exciting to see the engagement of the community. Now don't confuse me sweating with thinking that I walked or ran in the race. I did not as much as I wanted to. But for those walkers, for those runners, for the people that want to participate in something like this, I mean, you did not this year or you did this year and don't want to wait until next year. Uh, you now have an opportunity this year to take part. Uh, Macon Tracks on November 4th is hosting the Macon Music Half Marathon right here at Carolyn Creighton Park. Uh, more details will be released as the course is refined. But for now, reporting in Macon, Dejon Campbell, 41 NBC News.